Welcome to Inventory Control 101. For this presentation, we will be covering some of the common inventory problems e-commerce sellers face and how Webgility Desktop solves for them. Inventory issues are a common headache for both established and new e-commerce sellers. This includes things like overselling your stock, hitting your selling limits on marketplaces, working with group and assembly products, as well as working with multiple warehouses or inventory locations. Let's start by discussing overselling and selling limits. Overselling is when you cannot fulfill a product that is sold on your e-commerce store or marketplace. This results in a bad customer experience as well as refunds and is considered one of the biggest seller offenses on marketplaces like eBay and Amazon. Selling limits are a problem faced by sellers who are trying to branch out into marketplaces. New sellers are generally limited by what they can list, either by a dollar amount or an item count. Both of these issues are solved by using the Webgility Desktop Advanced Inventory Control Tool. With the tool, you can set limits to stay within your selling limits, create a sales buffer to minimize the chance of overselling, and set quantities on non-inventory items. You can access the Inventory Control Tool by going to the Products menu in Webgility Desktop. The tool will pop up in a new screen. The tool displays your entire item list. By adjusting the change amount and the change selection, Webgility Desktop can adjust the quantities and or prices being synced to the online channel by either a set number or a percentage. This precise control over quantity and price on an item by item basis allows you to set an amount less than QuickBooks, more than QuickBooks, always equal to specific amounts, or count down with an upper limiting threshold. The power of Webgility Desktop's Advanced Inventory Control Tool allows you to stop overselling by setting a small selling buffer for quantities on fast moving products, create an urgency to buy by limiting the number shown available, include back end marketplace fees within your prices, as well as set quantities for non inventory and dropship products when a marketplace requires them. Group and assembly items are another tricky component to work with when selling online. Group items or bundled items do not actually have an inventory account, and with QuickBooks, they must be sold for the total price of the containing items. Assembly items, on their hand, have a quantity, but you have to commit the component parts to the final build. This makes having multiple assemblies, which use the same component part, hard to track. With just a few minor configuration changes, Webgility Desktop solves for the issues both product types bring when selling online. Webgility Desktop can calculate the potential quantities for both assembly and group products based on the limiting component. Webgility Desktop can also do the build transaction in QuickBooks, as well as use an adjustment item to sell a group product for a different price than what QuickBooks has. Within the transaction configuration area, there are options to have Webgility Desktop create a final assembly when an order is posted to QuickBooks. And within the product configuration, you can select to use the potential amount for syncing quantities for group and assembly products. To adjust prices for group items, there is an option in the Webgility Desktop transaction configuration area, which allows for an adjustment item to be placed on the transaction so the subtotal remains the same as the sale on the online channel. When posting a transaction with an assembly item on it to QuickBooks, Webgility Desktop will build the final assembly. This allows you to list your assemblies without committing the components to the final build beforehand. Selling with multiple inventory locations adds further complication to e-commerce sales, but using Webgility Desktop makes selling and shipping from multiple locations easier. When dealing with multiple inventory locations, Webgility Desktop allows you to set both a default and override locations. This does require QuickBooks Enterprise with advanced inventory, but it automates having a product fulfilled from different locations based on state, country, or if using Shopify, an order tag. When selling with Amazon Seller Central, Webgility Desktop also has the ability to detect if an Amazon order originated from FBA or if it was merchant fulfilled, and thus deduct the quantity from the proper location when you create the transaction in QuickBooks. 
All of these solutions are available in WebGility Desktop. Let us know if you're interested in implementing them. If you're new to WebGility, you can email us at sales at WebGility.com. Or if you're an existing WebGility customer, contact your success manager for more info. Thank you very much.